One more thing about the keypad before we move on. The keypad is in fact a live keypad. Effectively what that means is one button less to press each time you perform an action. Not particularly important, but if you'd ever have this feature on a telephone system in the past and somebody took it away from you, you would actually miss it. If, for example, you want to dial another extension on most phone systems, you lift the handset and if you want to dial 209, 209, 209 rings. If you want to do the same thing on hook, speaker followed by 209, you've got the same thing going for you. On this system, however, you don't have to do that. Just go straight for the keypad, dial 209. The system's clever enough to know to go off hook and dial the extension you want. Indeed, if you have a button set up for 209, what they call a direct station select key, just hit the 209 key, the system will go off hook and automatically dial that extension. Small point, but as I say, if somebody took it off you, you would miss it. Moving along, next keys are called fixed keys. The keys that Samsung think you're going to use on a regular basis. The first one, the volume key, we've already used for one thing. We've scrolled up through the alphabet. However, it does actually 20 functions. We'll just show you three more of those. If you were dialing on hook, tapping the volume key, Tapping the volume key would increase or decrease the volume of the speaker accordingly. If you were dialing off hook, all of a sudden now the same key will give you the ability to adjust the speaker volume on the handset. If you raise this, it does actually make it quite loud. I said three things, just show you one more. So if we dial extension 209, if while that extension is ringing, tapping the volume key down will decrease the ring volume of that particular extension. Incidentally, just one point of interest, on the Samsung telephone system we do actually have eight different types of ringtones. And you can attribute those to particular caller IDs, so when the boss calls up you can always make it make a particular noise. Alternatively, you could attribute it to a specific direct dial number. So if, for example, your key client dials in, as well as just putting key client hotline in the screen of the telephone, we can actually make the telephones ring differently. Moving down the fixed keys, the next one is the redial key. All phone systems have a redial key. It's slightly more powerful on the Samsung system. If you hit redial, um, rather than dial the last number, it shows it you. And if you hit the minus key, it shows you the last but one, last but two, last but three, last but four, and so on. Each telephone will remember the last ten outbound calls it's made. Next key down is the conference key. The conference key allows you to dial up to five people into a conference where you are one of those five. So you can have four people either inside or outside of your building in a conference call and that will of course save you some cash on using conference services from networks. Now the next thing I'd like to move on to on the telephone system focuses on the display. So we're just going to move the camera in so we can let you see the display here.